Uh, I want to go to Pastor Robert Jeffries. He, uh, he of course, backing Roy Moore, but of course the pastor well aware of all the, the antsiness that many in the Republican Party have, particularly the United States Senate, should he, should he join that august body. Um, uh, pastor, how, how do you advise those Republicans uh, if Roy Moore were to pull this out, win tonight, and, and how they should respond, accept, react? What do you think? Well, Neil, first of all, thanks for having me. I do want to clarify, I have not endorsed any candidate in this race at all. But I do believe uh, that Republicans need to listen to what the voters say. And I think the tightness of this race, Neil, illustrates the real dilemma which evangelicals face in Alabama. You know, Alabama's the most evangelically populated uh, state in the country. And all evangelicals hate child abuse. I mean, there's a zero tolerance level for that. But the dilemma is, do you go with Roy Moore, who vehemently denies these serious allegations of child abuse, or do you go with Doug Jones, who openly and proudly embraces the most severe kind of child abuse, and that is abortion, killing so a child like you, for any reason? It sounds like you voted for Roy Moore. Well, I don't live in Alabama, so I didn't vote. But okay, I well, live there, in Texas. I stand corrected. <laughs> All right, but if you had your druthers, that's who you'd vote for. I apologize. It would be an it would be an uneasy choice. Right. But again, you know, you're always voting between the lesser of two evils, and to sit out a vote or to write in somebody else's name is to allow the greater of two evils to come into office. Um, is it your sense that the religious uh, vote is is, is sharply? divided, if not kind of traumatized on this issue, uh, because no matter how they go, uh, they're going to be wrestling with it. And, and, yeah. and, and, and if any of these allegations prove true, and it's too early uh, to know for sure, uh, outside of saying if Roy Moore rises to the United States Senate, there's certainly going to be investigations, that it's going to get messy. Well, I think it is, and I think there's a real uh, unease among evangelicals about this because, I mean, after all, Neil, I mean, it was Jesus who said it would be better to have a millstone tied around your neck and cast into the sea than to harm a child. So, I mean, that's the issue. But again, when you say, like Doug Jones does, that if a mother doesn't like uh, the, the sex of her child, the gender, she's free to abort it or in the 30th week of a pregnancy, get rid of a child to many evangelicals. That's barbaric. And I think if Roy Moore prevails tonight, it will be because evangelicals have rejected Doug Jones' abortion views. All right, we'll watch closely, Pastor. I'm sorry about my Alabama confusion, uh, but thank you. Very, very good seeing you. I appreciate you taking the time.